In a quiet Boston lab, a robot just learned to use its hands like a human. Its name is Atlas, and it now grips, twists, and adjusts with precision that looks almost alive. Meanwhile, another company's robot is folding laundry and washing dishes on its own. The race to build the first truly useful humanoid robot isn't science fiction anymore. It's happening right now. And what comes next could change everything. For years, robots could walk, jump, and even backflip, but they couldn't truly use their hands like us. That's where Boston Dynamics has just broken through. Their famous Atlas robot, the same one that stunned the world with its parkour moves, has now been upgraded with a brand new pair of hands. These aren't just any robotic hands, they might be the most advanced ones ever created. The team calls them the GR2 Grippers, short for Generation 2, and they completely transform what Atlas can do. When Boston Dynamics shifted Atlas from hydraulic to electric systems, it opened a new chapter. Suddenly, the engineers didn't just have to think about legs and balance. They could finally focus on manipulation, how the robot grabs, holds, and interacts with the world around it. The first version, called GR1, was a good start. It had three fingers lined up in a row, but no thumb. It worked, but it wasn't close to human dexterity. It also taught the team a lot about real-world problems, like what happens when a robot falls and lands on its own hand. Those lessons shaped the next design, the one that changed everything. Enter GR2. Each hand now has seven degrees of freedom, meaning seven separate ways it can move. Each finger has two motors, and there's an extra one just for a new addition, a thumb. That opposable thumb may sound simple, but it's a game changer. Without it, a robot can only grab simple objects. With it, Atlas can pinch, twist, and stabilize objects of all kinds, from smooth tools to oddly shaped parts. And these new hands don't just move, they feel. Inside the fingertips are special tactile sensors. Think of them like the robot's sense of touch. They can tell how hard Atlas is gripping something, so it doesn't crush a fragile object or drop it by mistake. If something starts to slip, the system immediately adjusts just like a human would. Each hand also has tiny cameras built into the palm. These act as a backup vision system when the main cameras can't see, like when the robot reaches into a tight space or around a corner. All the mechanics are packed inside the gripper itself, making it easy to swap or replace if needed. The engineers even designed it to survive falls, since Atlas still trains by running and jumping sometimes landing on its own arms. The biggest improvement from GR1 to GR2 is clearly that thumb. It gives Atlas a new level of dexterity and flexibility that no other humanoid robot has achieved yet. The team considered adding more fingers, but that would make the design too complex, too expensive, and harder to control. Three fingers plus a thumb turned out to be the perfect balance between power, precision, and practicality. With this new hand design, Atlas can finally interact with the world in ways that seem almost human. In recent tests, Boston Dynamics showed Atlas gripping uneven objects, twisting knobs, threading cables, and even assembling small parts with delicate precision. It's not about brute strength anymore, it's about control, balance, and judgment. Things that used to be exclusive to humans. The tactile sensors in its fingertips give Atlas the ability to sense pressure and texture. That means it knows exactly how tight to grip a fragile object like a glass, or how firmly to hold a heavy tool. If it detects a slip, it instantly compensates. This level of real-time response is what makes the GR2 system so groundbreaking. The cameras in its palms act like backup eyes, guiding the robot in tricky spaces where its main vision is blocked. Imagine it reaching inside a car engine or behind a panel. Those palm cameras help it see, even there. Boston Dynamics also made sure Atlas could handle real-world impact. If the robot falls, the hands are built strong enough to take a hit and keep working. That's crucial for a humanoid that walks, jumps, and moves dynamically. Engineers spent months testing different materials and shock-absorbing designs to make sure the grippers could survive the kind of abuse robots face in motion. These upgrades mark a big shift for Boston Dynamics. For years, their videos showed off incredible movement, the flips, runs, and jumps but not much practical work. Now, the focus is on manipulation. Their new figure 03 robot can wash dishes, fold laundry, and even plug itself in to recharge. It's designed to operate safely around humans, with soft covers, padded joints, and smooth movement. The goal isn't just to build a robot that can move, it's to build one that people actually want around them. 
Inside, Figure 03 runs on their own AI system called Helix. It's a vision language action model, which means the robot learns by watching, listening, and interacting, not just following scripts. For example, if you tell it, put the cup in the dishwasher, it doesn't need to be programmed step by step. It understands the meaning, plans the actions, and executes them in real time. That's a massive step toward robots that can live and work alongside humans. The hardware also got an upgrade. Figure 03 is 9% lighter than the previous model, with a more compact frame and hidden metal parts for safety. Its field of view has increased by 60%, so it can see more of its surroundings. The palm cameras, like Atlas's, allow it to grab things even when the main sensors can't see. It can carry up to 44 pounds, walk at a steady pace, and run for 5 hours before recharging on its wireless floor dock. But as impressive as this sounds, there's still one major question. How well do these robots perform outside? Side controlled environments. Most demos happen in labs where lighting, surfaces, and objects are perfectly arranged. The real world, with pets and stairs, kids and clutter, is unpredictable. And that's where true usefulness will be tested. Still, it's hard not to see the progress. Just a few years ago, robots like Atlas were performing tricks to show balance. Now they're performing tasks that require coordination and intelligence. We're witnessing the transition from robot athletes to robot workers. Even with all these technological marvels, the biggest challenge remains taking robots from controlled environments into the unpredictable real world. Atlas now uses a combination of vision, touch, and decision-making software that allows it to adapt to new situations on the fly. This blend of sensors and artificial intelligence helps the robot plan its actions react to sudden changes, and even recover from mistakes. It's like giving it a primitive form of common sense. The engineers say that this is only the beginning of what they call physical AI, intelligence that doesn't just exist in data centers, but moves through the world, manipulating real objects and solving real problems. Tesla's Optimus robot is also part of this growing competition. Elon Musk's team has focused on building a humanoid that can handle repetitive factory tasks. It may not yet have the grace of Atlas or the intelligence of Figure 03, but its progress in balance and mobility is undeniable. In the future, we might see a blend of all these technologies. Boston Dynamics Dexterity, Figure AI's intelligence, and Tesla's large-scale manufacturing, merging into one powerful humanoid platform. But this new wave of automation raises tough questions too. If humanoid robots can eventually perform most physical jobs, from warehouse work to home assistance, what happens to human workers? Some experts believe robots will take over the dangerous and boring tasks, letting people focus on creativity and supervision. Others worry that once robots become cheaper and smarter, the age of humanoid robots isn't science fiction anymore. It's knocking on our door. From Boston Dynamics' new hands to figure AI's home-ready helpers, the race to make machines that move, think, and work like us is heating up fast. So what do you think? Are we ready to share our world with them? If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories about the incredible future unfolding right before our eyes.